Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about Spring Boot internationalization or localization. All right. So, what is internationalization or localization? It means that you want to change the content of your application based on the locale. For example, if you are accessing your application, say in India, you want to display the content in English. But say, for example, if you have some users accessing your application in France. Right, then you have to render the content in French language, right? Or say, for example, if you have some users in in Germany, then obviously you have to render the content in German, right? Or say, if you have some client or users in Spain, then obviously you have to render the content in the Spanish language, right? So basically, by using internationalization or localization, you can change the content of your application based on the locale. To change the locale, the content of your application will be changed as per the locale. Alright guys, so I'll make it more clear in the demo section. Let's begin the video. Now guys, for this particular video, we are going to create multiple dot properties file where we'll keep some properties. For example, we are going to create one message dot properties file. One is message underscore fr for, for French text and underscore es for Spanish text. Okay, you can create more like for example, message underscore de for German. All right, and then we are going to create a page, we'll call it index page, and there we'll provide some links to change the locale. Like for example, English, French, or Spanish. You click on the link, the locale will be changed. All right, guys. And to make it work, we are going to create a Java class. We'll call it internationalization, and we'll make use of an interface called Web MVC Configure. Okay, so I will explain the code in the demo section. All right, guys. Now let's go and create our project. Here we are. We are going to create a Spring Boot project. Let's call it Spring Boot I18N. Okay, and uh, I'll just go and change the package to I18N. Group and package same. All right, let's click on next and choose the dependencies Time Leap and Spring Web. Okay, click on next and click on finish. We are going to create an index page, right? So we need to have the time leap dependency. All right. So now if I go here, Spring Boot I18N. So this is our project. Here is our class. Right, guys. So let's go and create our home page, right? So I'll go to resources. Let's go to templates and create our index page. So guys, I'm going to create an HTML page. Let's call it index.html click on next okay so we'll come to index page in a moment let's go and create our properties file right so i'm going to create a new then file let's call it messages okay messages dot properties all right let's go and add some properties here so for example i will add welcome dot hello let's call it hello and let's add one more property here welcome dot say message equals to hello i hope you are having a great day save okay now let's go and create one more file and let's call it messages underscore fr dot properties it means fr is for french properties properties i hope the spelling is correct click on finish so i'll just go and copy these two properties i'll change the text in french in a moment Let's go and create one more file for Spanish language, right? So let's call it messages underscore es dot properties. All right. Now guys, it's time to add the text. All right, guys. So here I have added text in French. If you see here, bonjour. And then this is the French version of, I hope you're doing great. And here is the Spanish version. All right. So basically we have got three properties file. One is in English. Second one is for French and the next one is for Spanish. All right. Let's go to our page. Right. So let's go and create one H1 here. H1. Right. Say uh, text. So TH colon text equals to now guys. I hope you know how to read the data. The values from properties file. Right. So this is welcome dot. I would say let's call it index dot hello index dot welcome message okay we have to do same for all in all the properties file it's not welcome let's call it index dot hello and 
index dot welcome dot message let's go here and let's do the same here index so index is page right and index dot hello all right so i'll go here now guys i'll change it to index dot hello to read the property this particular value from our english file okay hello and then there is one placeholder we'll come to placeholder in a moment right and then let's go and create h2 here and this time let's make it h1 only th colon text equals to hash curly braces and then the property name so property name is index dot welcome dot message okay let's copy this one here so i will write here welcome message simple right and it says that th colon text is undefined attribute right so i hope you know the reason xml name space colon th all right so this is good now guys we have to create our controller right we don't have the controller yet so let's go and create a class dot controller let's call it index controller okay let's go and add the annotation to make it a controller controller then let's go and create a function public string index space index return index okay so index is my view name let's go and use get mapping here get mapping on root okay double quotes and slash fine this is the most easiest one now guys let me just go and start our application right as the spring boot app okay it says your application has started let's go to the browser localhost colon 8080 now guys what do you see you see hello here right and then there is placeholder hello i hope you are having a great day so basically this is the welcome text and this is the hello text right now let's go and change the placeholder right let's go and put some value here okay so what i will do here i will introduce a model model right let me just go and import okay model dot add attribute right so attribute name say for example i will simply write here channel okay and then channel name is okay java i want to display this message hello okay java right so now let's go to the ui and let's go and replace the placeholder i hope you guys know how to do it dollar sign curly braces and then attribute name okay this where this particular value will replace the placeholder right so what i want is on the screen i want to see hello okay java on the screen all right so let's go and restart our application quickly all right what do you see here hello and okay java right now guys what we will do is let's go and create some hyperlinks here right so let's go and create one hyperlink say here a h t h colon h reference equals to action right slash let's call it locale okay and then here th colon text equals to say index dot en right so and here right english so what is index dot en index dot local dot en let's go and create this value message dot properties en equals to english right let's go and do same for French equals to F R E N C H for French. We'll do same for Spanish. Okay, guys. Now let's go and do the same. Okay, right. Index dot F R. So this is for French, and this is for E S. This is for Spanish. okay spanish so this is cool now guys here we have got three hyperlinks this is cool nice thing but how will you change the local how your local will change 
right so what i will do let's let me let me just do one thing let me restart our application let's go and see the change so guys here i can see three hyperlinks right one for english then a second one for french and then for spanish okay and this is the text right now let's go and work on the main thing i want to change the text based on the locale so let's go and first of all copy paste these three values in all the properties file okay all right now guys let's go back here so basically right i want to change the the locale how can i change so what i'm doing here is on click of the hyperlink i'm passing a language equals to i'm passing a value on click of the hyperlink so the parameter name is language and the value is em okay save let's do the same for here language equals to fr let's do same here language equals to es okay all right now let's go and create this particular mapping right so i'll go to our index controller let's go and create a function here right public string and let's call it change locale okay so this is my function let's go and create a get mapping here get mapping slash locale okay return i want to return the index space only all right guys if you look at this particular uh, hyperlink here we are passing a value language right so we need to receive this request parameter right so we are going to use a notation called at the rate request param request param string language all right now guys what i will do just print this value sys out language selected equals to language right so basically on click of the hyperlink i'll get a language and depending on the language i want to change the locale okay now guys let me just start stop okay localhost colon 8080 now guys if i click on english i can see here language equals to en french but i don't see any change in my text right so let's go and fix this one first so i have to pass the same model attribute here as well comma model okay so guys i can see here that our language is changing right and here also i can see the selected language right it's changing english spanish french and all right but i don't see the changed text why guys here we are missing the main class which will do the magic so let's go and create a class we are going to call it internationalization okay so i'm going to create the class inside the controller only you can create a different package so this is our class internationalization and here we are implementing an interface called web mvc configurer okay right so here is is your local resolver what i'm doing here is here we are setting the default local which is english local dot us okay and then we have a next function which is local change interceptor so what this particular function will do is depending on the value of this attribute it will change the local so if you guys remember in our index.html we are passing this value like language equals to en fr es right so depending on the value of this particular variable or the parameter this interceptor will change the locale okay so parameter which we are using here it should match with the this particular parameter okay and now the next function is is to add this changed interceptor to the registry okay now guys it's time to restart our application it says application is started okay so let's go and hit localhost colon 8080 80. now you see hello okay java and everything is in english let's go and click on french what do you see now you see the text bonjour which is hello in french and okay java is the parameter that which i am passing and here is the second sentence in french now if i click on spanish you see hola the french version of hello 
right and here is the remaining text in French if I click on English you will see everything in English right guys so basically our application is working as we expected right I can click on any link based on that particular link I can see the text also changing right so if I click on French you see language equals to FR and I can see the text in French if I click on Spanish now you can see language equals to ES ES for Spanish and you see text in Spanish language all right guys so guys this is the main class which will do the magic and don't forget that you need to send the parameter right like this value so when you click on the the hyperlink you need to send the local that you want to change all right guys thank you for watching bye for now